Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're unboxing the JetBlue A320 and not the barcode livery in the high rise livery. Um, a lot of you guys may be wondering why did I get another JetBlue? I already have uh, an A320 from JetBlue and as you notice it's in the barcode livery which is an amazing livery. I, you know the tail is the barcode. I love the tail barcode. I have it on two of my Embraer E190s because that's all the Gemini just released for the Embraer of uh, A190 for JetBlue. And uh, the A320, my A320 also has a barcode livery, and my other A320 has the Isle of New York livery. But I have been searching for the high-rise livery for so long, and uh, I went onto Instagram, and I see that West Coast Diecast has it up, and they just put it on their sale and everything, um, so I had to get it. I was actually on a JetBlue flight, which um, I'll be posting that video soon, and I saw it, and I was like, I need to get this. Full disclosure, I'm not sponsored by West Coast Diecast in, by any means or anything. I'm just so impressed with how fast it got here, how amazing the model turned out. Um, I'll show you guys everything now, but uh, it was just really incredible. Um, West Coast Diecast, if you are watching, please sponsor me. That'd be amazing. But for now, I'm not sponsored. It's, uh, it's, it's just me and how impressed I am with this model. Um, just taking a look at the box. It is a standard JetBlue, or is a standard Gemini Jets box. Um, it just looks like the GSE fell out, which I'll show you in a second. But a uh, standard Jet, Gemini Jets box. Um, you have the decal here, JetBlue there, and the Airbus A320 there. Looking at all the sides, there you can see we have a little bit of box damage there, but um, I'm sure this is a used model, or I believe it is a used model because um, it's so rare. So now pulling it out of the box, here you can see the model, and sitting in here was my free GSC set. And here you can see it's like a, it's a, a baggage conveyor belt to put up into a plane. But um, it came with the model. Like if you buy a model from, again, I'm not sponsored. I know it really sounds like I am. But if you buy a uh, model from West Coast Diecast, you get a free GSC set. So um, that's really cool. But um, I think that's really awesome. And then moving that aside and pulling this in. Here we have the clear on blue classical Gemini jets. And then here's the paint protector. There's the model. Let me get all this stuff out of the way and then I'll come back to you guys. So now just first impressions on the model. It is an amazing model. You can see why I was so happy about it earlier. It just looks really nice. Let me see, it's not focusing the best, but I have been looking for a JetBlue A320 in the high-res livery for an amazing amount of time. And the fact that I actually found one is just so impressive to me because it's so rare. And the fact that I bought one not on eBay and on a mainstream site is also pretty impressive. Um, here it is, it looks amazing. Uh, let's go into more detail. So now taking a look at the aircraft, there you can see on the front, it says red, white, and blue right underneath those cockpit windows. That's the name of the aircraft. Um, right underneath that, you have that wheel, uh, the front nose gear, and then the L1 door. Scooting it back a little further, you have the JetBlue logo and the engine that says JetBlue.com. Um, I'm looking at it now, it looks a little black. It's not in real life, I think it's just my camera, but um, it's actually a blue color that you, know, you usually see on JetBlue planes. I don't know why it's showing up as black, maybe it's just the paint. But um, it's blue looking at it in real life. Scooting it forward more, you have those two emergency exits outside the, the uh, wing. And then you have the main landing gear on the bottom. Um, it looks like the main gear, landing gear might have just a little bit of a scratch there. Scratch there, but that's kind of expected from a model this, uh, this old. And um, it's such on the bottom that you can't really tell, so that's good. Uh, a little odd that it's down there on the on the wheel. I'm not sure what shipped the wheel. It's such in a disclosed spot with the engine and everything. But um, uh, I don't think it's such a big deal since it's under the wing. Scooting it forward more, you have those winglets at the end there. There you have the flaps, and then you can see the very faint. And this livery, I don't believe it might not even have it. But I know that once they started doing the high rise livery jet blue, they stopped having that blue rim around the bottom of the plane. Let me pull up this A320 so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's get this one forward a bit. See, this one has that blue sector right before the dark blue. They stopped doing that right around the time they were making the high-rise liveries. But um, that's pretty interesting to me that they stopped doing that, and it's just the blue now. But um, there you have the registration, which is November 537JT, or um, Juliet uh, Tierra. There you have uh, the Airbus A320 logo, that last door there. And then going up, you have the tail. Going into more detail on the tail, this was the first JetBlue tail to include the color green. Uh, it is called high rise because it kind of looks like windows on a building. Um, personally, I just like this one because of the color. It kind of stands out with the blues, the light blues, 
the dark blues, the black, and the green. And um, it looks different than the, all the other jet blues, so it doesn't just look like the same aircraft over and over. So now taking a look at the front of the aircraft, there you can see that nose gear. Moving it back more, you have the engines. There you have the hole for the model stand in case you want it to look like it's flying in or out or put on a desk or something. There you have the Gemini Jets logo, the two main wheels, and then the back of the aircraft. Thank you all so much for watching. Wait before you go, please subscribe because once we get to a thousand subscribers, we're going to do a, a model giveaway. So uh, please subscribe so we get there sooner. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to put this model in the airport somewhere on a gate or something and then color probably going to paint that GSE. Um, again, thank you so much West Coast Diecast. Um, if you guys could, uh, if you guys want to sponsor me, that'd be amazing. But again, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for West Coast Diecast. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.